wave state uh that one cannon wave i don't think we could shove it fast enough so i think i should have done something different with that um okay. i'm not too sure what i should have done with that um i didn't trade with the senna onto the correct target thinking back on it so like senna was trading with someone and i was either hitting the other target or not trading although i'm not sure that she should have been trading at that level two since they were about to get it i'm not too sure otherwise okay let's let's go step by step so sure good so in the champion select you know personally picking jinx right here first of all when you pick your ADK, you want to pick a good support with uh, your well, a good champion with your support if possible and a decent champion against enemy team you know kate like senna is really good with ezreal caitlin Jin, miss Fertan, yeah. ap varus ap uh, like varus lethality something with range or a cv yep. or something safe this jinx mm, not the yeah. best pick and then if you think about it picking jinx with like malphite is like oof. and then yep. evelyn is like oof as well and then action is like okay but i can have a good positioning against action like, i trust you because you can have a good positioning but against the rest is like a bit hard draft yeah. is not that important in low elo but mm -hmm. I would say that if you have a champion pool and you can choose to not handicap yourself, you know, why yep. not do it? So that's that's for the draft. I'm not concerned with that. You took the the gathering. So this is preference. Personally, I think most of the low elo games, they end before 18, 28 minutes game, 29 minutes game. So personally, I like this, this or this. Conditioning with uh, overgrowth or domination with treasure hunter or biscuits, anything. But if you prefer mm -hmm. this, it's absolutely okay. No problem at all. Then we go in the lane. Then here you said, so I already like put a question, a big question mark here. I already put a question mark here. So you said you want to take cleanse for the Rakan ulti and Evelyn, right? I think. That's what I was thinking and the Zaya root. I see, I see, I see, I see. So usually when you take a summon spell, you don't want to take the summon spell because you want to take, okay, I'm going to get cleanse because, uh, you know, cleanse is good against uh, Rakan R and Evelyn R. But is that something that you know it's gonna hit you consistently and if you don't if you cleanse it you can get away with it like for example if you play against Livona on lane and you're like oh shit i need cleanse against that guy if you play against let's say ash and they also have let's say trash and you're like oh shit not that, that they have trash hook but they also have ash ult how can i dodge that with jinx in that yeah. case i go for the cleanse usually for the lane but of course you can also choose your summon spell based on the mid jungle and the uh, uh, top lane if it's something huge so for example right here yes they have evening charm but if evelyn catches you with the charm even if you cleanse it instantly she's instantly gonna do the damage anyway so you can't cleanse the damage the rule of thumb is that when you take a summon spell you want to make sure it has a huge impact for you like let's say okay i take cleanse because I cleanse the hook. The moment you cleanse the hook, what can Trish do? Uh, he can just take it and then he uh, flay you. That's the thing. He can't take the hook because you oh. cleanse it. Ah, I see. Okay. Super important. So if you take the cleanse against Alessandra ulti and you just cleanse the, the Alessandra ulti, she, it, uh -huh. she can flash on you or W on, but it's hard for her to get, get on you. Leona, same I thing. See. You cleanse the Q, you run away. It's, it's a must like must thing to get you see so i guess there is a little bit of a problem with the game knowledge that you you don't know exactly what are the big abilities that that mm -hmm. needs to be cleansed so let's let's do some um some uh, investigation here sure okay so we have cleanse we have ghost we have exhaust we have heal usually heal is the most consistent what do you pick here so first uh, you want to choose one. on the lane but if they oh. have three targets mid jungle uh, top lane that you yeah. really need one specific summoner spell for you can also say okay but i don't care about the lane because this has a huge impact on me so what do you think in this case we should get so uh jana jinx any Udir, olaf um personally i think ghost was a good choice here i think i did pick the right one ghost is a good choice and wh why why do you think that um so because we have a scion me being able to run down targets such as the olaf the udir because they should be my primary targets in the front line or they okay. should be running me down Two so like if they are running at me i can just ghost and kite back as well as that would be less effective through like a uh, olaf q or a udir slow as well as Okay, uh, let's, yeah, let's wait you. for a second. So, if you get stomped, absolutely stomped in the lane, do, does yeah. any of these things matter? No. Exactly. 
So if you take <coughs> ghost, but you know you get something in the lane, it's like, okay, yeah. but what do you take? But the problem is that they have Jinx Janna. How likely is for a Jinx Janna to like completely obliterate you so you can't get away with ghost? Gotcha. What do you think? Here? So like there I should be healed then in that situation. So or in exhaust. your opinion, what do you think Jinx, Jinx Janna? Do you think he has a huge kill pressure? No. Exactly. So then you taking ghost is not bad, Trigan. Gotcha. Okay. Because they don't have too much kill per I mean, if you're taking this against Zyra Khan, I'm like, okay, you take ghost for late, but there is no late, bro, because you get stomped in the lane because you don't have heal uh -huh. or exhaust or anything that will help you to survive. But you have to have a synergy, as in, if you take ghost, uh -huh. you play safe, so you take Kal, so you play for late. If you play aggressive or you want to survive or you want to, like, kill them mm -hmm. heal and exhaust no problem but don't take Carl because Carl is yeah no hp so have a synergy don't be like okay but i want to play a bit safe and a bit aggressive and a bit okay, no choose and then we go from there like here Carl is fine i don't personally i'm not a fan with Carl for solo queue below platinum but if you really like it with ghost is fine in this specific situation uh again heal exhaust anything in the lane doesn't really help you too much so if you want to get ghost because you can get away in lane with a Lulu, it's absolutely okay. And then you can say top jungle me like mid, you need the summon spell because you can say yes, but I need cleanse. Yeah, I mean, any you can cleanse, but who did? I mean, he's not gonna get on top of you because you have Lulu Polymorph. And then, yeah, Olaf, I mean, cleanse Olaf, you can cleanse Olaf. And then exhaust, like you can cleanse, ex like you can exhaust Olaf, but it's not really gonna save you then uh, exhaust any or who did is not really gonna help you so then getting ghost is justified here uh -huh. okay next one let's see right here any with zeri let's see <clears throat> so that one i feel like in second thought i should have went cleanse um any because their engaged thing Sad. is any ring on my head and so if i lane? just instantly cleanse that exactly. then they have no lane pressure can you dodge the any stunning lane no. Is this something that she can constantly use it on you? Yes. Exactly. So cleanse is good. Okay. Uh, some Someone can be okay, but they also have Twisted Fate. That's an additional thing yeah. that makes the cleanse very good. For but you would, take, part, yeah. you would take cleanse even if it was like Udyr mid or something yeah. that you don't need to clean. Because any is too big of a threat. Yeah. Because so we're not going to make it through lane without that. You see? And this is what yeah. happened. You lost the lane and you play safe the whole lane. Okay, yep. on Kaisa is a bit more complicated because on Kaisa you can never say, okay, I'm gonna scale, you know, I'm gonna get, go I mean, yeah, scale against uh -huh. Kogmo, Jinx, Vayne, you're always gonna out get outscaled. So I'm not a fan, Kaisa with Ghost. So heal, exhaust, or cleanse. But what do you think is good here? Personally, I thought exhaust because I can exhaust basically every single one of them on their team um, through Jinx, Zed, Heck, and Aurelia. Perfect. Like on the lane, you would say that, okay, maybe heal is fine because you know you can't technically exhaust jinx because she has a yeah. lot of range i mean you can say level six but it's not reliably practically mm -hmm. also cleanse is not the worst thing in the world against Luxin. you can also cleanse mm -hmm. hecarim and maybe arela e but ghost mm -hmm. is good against zed and heka and Irelia. Mm -hmm. so these three things just make you take, take uh, exhaust yeah okay let's go for that two more uh this one uh that's a norms uh we trolled that okay if you want to skip that one <laughs> okay let's skip this one so let's say this one um so typically if i see a hecarim i almost always go exhaust just because i know if he can get onto me he can one shot me and that plus the tristana kind of yes. pushed me towards the exhaust here. i would put it different i would say that against hecarim i really need to get exhaust but i would get exhaust no matter if it's a hecarim or not because if i don't get exhaust gotcha. against Tristana and she jumps on my face i'm like gotcha and yeah. if okay if she if you play in challenger she will take cleanse intentionally so she can cleanse yep. with exhaust but it's a bit it's a bit complicated because in this and then it's a mind game it's a mind yeah. game yeah okay one more before we go so you have an ash usually with ash you play pokey style you play poke and you play more aggressive you have there is a zaya lux syndra uh -huh. Udir. so what do you think is good here probably heal perfect why let's see because we want to play for lane because true. ash has hail blades true okay the, if ash has comet or something else do you, you want to play safe at that point i wish i wouldn't have picked cog <laughs> Yes, um, exactly. Like, I feel like, you know, like Jin or something would have been exactly, better. Exactly. So then it would have helped my some spells because then I could actually do something or added to that poke or like Lethality Varus or something like that. Yes. The champion select that we have, I think it can be improved a lot. Like, for example, I would never pick Kaisa without an engaged support there. 
Yeah. Um, because you picked the setup, I mean, it's pretty big handicap. And mm -hmm. then this one with with Ash, maybe Varus, Lethality. Yeah. Maybe Caitlyn, maybe Jinx, why not? She has a good range, she's okay. Um, uh -huh. Okay, good. So let's go to the actual coaching. Perfect. Sure. Yeah. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So I will be. I was so nervous. I will be. Don't honest. worry. Don't worry. Don't <laughs> worry. Don't worry, man. Okay. So we go in the game. You go for blade. Sure. Okay. Right here. You said oh, okay. We can't leash right here. It's it's GG if we leash. Tell me more about that. Yeah. So I thought since it's like we win level one. Because we're too ranged into our con. So if we don't get off enough poke onto our con, our con can just hit two and all in, and we probably lose that, especially with Zaya, since we're a son of Jinx. And so I wanted okay. to be in lane earlier so that we could get Pryo over the wave to see if we could fight for level two. Um, I see, I see. And you're, you're mentioning something about. So what if you poke Zaya? Because you're saying, okay, but I'm going to poke our con. And I agree, but what if you poke Zaya? Then she can't step up to do damage, or we exactly. just kill her. So it's also good to to poke Zaya. Yeah. So it would be good to to like not leash and get faster to the lane, right? Yeah. That's what you like. True, but if your jungle pings it, yeah, yeah. Like the thing is, it's very good that you're thinking about these things. But if mm -hmm. your jungle is gonna freak out, then she's gonna do the yeah. I'm not never gonna gank bot thing. <laughs> you know? I was I was gonna go as soon as she pinged, but yes. then it was like I was gonna be too late. This is why usually I think about this in Champions Select if I wanna ask yeah. if I need to leash or not. Usually for Goldilo I don't recommend it to it ever. But yeah. if you think you need prior very early on and it's a must thing because you always need prior, but if it's a must thing, mm -hmm. I would consider uh, asking asking for for uh, for the like uh -huh. no leash and I would ask like this first. You don't ask, can we not leash? Because you'll say, no fuck you, lol. Yeah. You say, is it okay if we don't leash? And then you, you say, we hard lose lane if yeah. we do. Like you give him the reason, you're polite. Yeah. And you say, okay, it's okay if you don't. Because I'm not going to ignore you, man. Like I'm here for you. Yeah. So you will have a lot from my experience 80 percent of the cases they say yes some of them they don't even answer because they play with mutual but if the, if yeah. she doesn't agree with you i would still leash because in solo queue it's this is why not make them mad yes in solo queue even challenger players when they play smurf they uh -huh. many situations when gold players they do the wrong decision challenger players hover hover they hover they say they don't commit but they hover so you want to find this uh, like a play style where you don't help your teammates if you think it's bad, but you don't completely ignore them like this. Like, okay, if you really think you don't like to leash, just leash for like three, four other packs and just go. But don't yeah. completely ignore. Gotcha, okay. And then she went to to that. Senna is not here, so he can't touch the wave, 100%. Yeah, I'm worried about her con. Let's see right here. Okay, <clears throat> what are the most important, like what is the most important thing? The Senna is in the lane right now. What should we do? Um, we should try to get level two. True. Why? So, uh, because we don't want them to be able to all in us at level two. And so us getting it first prevents them from being able to all in us. True. True, 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 true. true. So what should you be doing right now? Uh, hitting the melees. Okay, 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 okay. With every auto, which I should be doing. Because here you like let the wave to come into you, right? Yeah. You are scared of the all in? Uh, not right now, because they're level 1. I, at least I shouldn't be playing Scared of the All-In. So you know that Zyra can level 1, they are extremely strong level 1. Do you know that or not? I did not know that. Yes, so did you know I, that? I thought that... Yes. I thought just because we were too ranged into the Rakan, um, that we could maybe... I, I guess it would be if we were able to poke them out level 1, that would really? give us an advantage. But since, since Senna didn't start in lane, so I guess does that make sense that... Do you know that Rakan can start W? Yes. And did you know that the Rakan gets movement speed and attack speed if the Zaya starts W as well? I didn't know that. Exactly. So maybe I can show you on the internet because it's Wait, so Zaya taking W gives Rakan like movement speed? If she hits something, yes. Ah, interesting. I didn't know that. Exactly. And you see there are many, 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 many uh 
things that I feel like, look at this, Zyra can level 1. Let's see. So usually majority of the cases, it, the ones that start the cheese win the cheese. Like if they stay here and they wait you, they usually win the cheese. Look at this. Yeah. W, Zaya W, look at this. Her move speed is insane. So move speed and attack speed. And look at, look at Rakan uh, attack speed after the W of Zaya. Look at this, right now. Yeah. Move speed and attack speed. It's wow. huge. So they are extremely strong if they can hit your double, the W of Rakan. If they can't, they are useless. If Zaya starts mm -hmm. Q, they are useless. They only have poke. And you're right. All what you have to do is first, before looking to poke them, zone them, or do anything to them, get priority. This means mm -hmm. have some minions advantage before you go to poke. Yeah. Because what you did... Let me see if I can take this. Because I was watching two games at the same time. Uh -huh. um, like what you did both games right here. Huge, 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 huge thing. Very huge thing. Okay. okay, well, besides of the summoner spell, besides of the, the ghost, besides of the call. So you go in uh -huh. the lane. Well, personally, I would go short way. Like this. Uh, uh -huh. Because Zeri and you just always win. Level yeah. 1. Plus, if you think about it, they will always start here. Majority of the cases. Like, very yeah. rarely you'll get cheesed. And the reward that you get by getting faster than the lane is big. And here, all what you should do is what here? Just out of the minions. Exactly. Until when? Do we want to crush the wave into the tower? Uh, no. No. We want no. it to slow push. Exactly. So you want to establish a minion lead. Okay, one second. You want to establish a minion lead of, like, let's say, 6 against 4. So then mm -hmm. when you are right here, you can actually walk up on them and zone them. So you want to uh, establish like a little minion lead, a little minion lead. And after you do that, it's going to be very easy to poke them when you play around your minions. And if they want to trade back, you also get the minions to back you up. So here, as you can see, didn't really auto attack the minions. And right no. here, all what you have to do is auto attack the minions, auto attack the minions, auto attack the minions. And here, when I saw this pattern, I knew this guy, he needs to work on the wave management. There is no way okay. because here, look at this. You hit him, and it would be good if you like if you hit him because you have a uh, the range because there yeah. is like 500 and something range. Uh, uh -huh. Okay, 500 range. It's good, but now you should be doing what? Killing minions. Like a maniac. Gotcha. But with the Q because you want to hit us because you see you see your pattern. You see you're still thinking. Okay, yep. but I want to go on her. Yes, but you could be chunking her so much if you just get some minion lead because she is mm -hmm. two minions against two minions so we should establish that minion lead first so this yeah. one right here this is why the trade went kind of evenish is because they have the minions advantage they pushed and funny enough we didn't really play for level two advantage and let's see who's getting first they got it first and then you also got it but it should be yeah. you getting prior in the lane Imagine if Lux because has Pry in the lane. Yeah. Lux is right here, Annie is right here. We poke, we push, we put the war, we do whatever we want in this lane. Gotcha. Big, big, big thing here. We need to learn how to get Pry level 1. Okay. Because now, look at this, they can hit you back. If they hit you yeah. back, it's already like a bad thing. And here again, you see with the ghost again. It's like they will have a like an instant advantage if they have yeah. heal or exhaust or... Again, uh -huh. if you play like a safe lane, ghost is not bad at all, especially on Jinx. But in general, it's a bit iffy. Okay, so this happened. Let's gotcha. hit the game. Okay, in this case, you had all of the rights to not hit the minions because Senna was not in the lane. So in this specific situation, you not hitting the waves from the beginning was the, the right choice. Then yeah. you try to let the wave to come into you. Like the, re the way it, has, it had to look is exactly like this. Let me show you. So, uh, Dark, Rank 1, Tristana. If you play it well, if you play it really well, level 1, this is how it's gonna look. Level 1, if you get CS Advantage lead. Like, this is Challenger 1.11 KLP. And you will see that mm -hmm. the first, we can't see it on the replay, but the first thing that Tristana tried to do, she tried to get a little CS lead, a little one minion lead. In this specific case, mm -hmm. they don't even need to get one minion lead because Alistar is the worst champion in the game level one and Tristana yeah. is very weak as well. And they just zoned, look at this, they just zoned. But they zoned after they got a little bit of a lead in, in terms of the XP. Mm -hmm. Look at this, now exactly the plan. One, two, three, four minions are blue. 
two minions are red. We got the minion yeah. lead. Now we're ready to poke. We didn't get the minion lead. No problem. The goal is to get the minion lead. We don't poke without that unless we know that it's free. And now, gotcha. look at the Kaisa. She can poke. Mm -hmm. This is 1.5 KLP. So it's super high luck. Yeah. Good. Okay, try to go for some poke. We missed some clicks, but overall, with yeah. what I saw at you, if so warm we improve <laughs> the, this, these fundamentals, I think your yeah. mechanics are a lot uh, above the, the rank you are. Okay. Then, yeah, she got caught. Nothing can do. Beautiful kiting, beautiful spacing. Interesting that I can went Q level 2. Let's see the mistakes right here. So, 400 is the next one. We try to farm into the tower. No problem, no problem. Again, here if we have heal, it's a bit different. Let's uh -huh. see, did, did they heal the. Okay. And also, like, Rakan didn't even have Ignite. That was very funny. Okay, let's see right here, because this is a wave management thing. So, okay. wave is coming into you. We're looking at the wave. This is all completely fine. You're trying to farm. No problem. We try to farm into the tower. You get the farm. And right here, you saw they are recalled. Like, yeah. Most likely they are recalled. You knew this in the <coughs> game, right? Yeah. What should we do right now? I'm going to be honest. I get stuck in this situation <laughs> a lot where it's like I can't quite push fast enough. I know they left. Should this turn into a slow push? Okay. Yes. This, this, this turns into a slow push. If you let it like this, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. So, yes. like, should I just be last hitting here and, like, letting everything die okay so let's think for a second so if they recalled and they spend yeah. their money usually yeah. you also want to do the right thing unless you have so low money like 200 gold which yeah. is not the case so you would <clears throat> like to recall here yeah. what happens if you recall in this time like without doing anything right is it good i feel like i'd end up losing true true why a lot of minions um why? since the waves on our side like if you break it off into sections or whatever yes. like the waves like closer to our side so it's gonna end up slow pushing to them True, but so why? when they get back what's the reason when they get back to them? because so the, because the wave is crashing and our reinforcing wave gets there before theirs does perfect so it's about the next incoming minion wave yeah, that yeah. closer to our tower Beautiful. So, no way we recall now. We want to recall, but we can't just recall now. Yeah, yeah. What happens if you push this wave right now and you try to push it as fast as humanly possible? It crashes right there. Exactly. Or, like, it doesn't crash right exactly. there. Exactly. So, right now you'd be like, yes, I want to crash it. I really want to stay here and crash. But it's like, oh, it's, oh, yeah. it's close to their tower, man. Where is the jungle? I need to recall. True. But what if... You know they are recalled, and instead of crushing this one, you wait another one, so you have a huge wave. And when you yeah. crush the second wave, you crush here, not here. Yeah, that makes sense. So then to prep that, would I like kill a caster or something no, to like make sure it. my wave only stays bigger? It. Wait the next only wave, last next okay. wave to come here, and we crash two waves. Normally, crashing three waves is ideally not when you recall, but just when you set up a wave management. But if you want to recall, two waves crash is still very, very, very good. So okay. this is what we should have done. But even without that, if you have enough HP to survive a gank or a, uh, like an engage from them, you can consider staying. Mm -hmm. Like for example, if you're not staying here because you're scared of dying because you're this HP, I would be like, okay, really? yeah. this is good, man. Like, okay, you didn't die, bro, this is good. But if you're like, okay, full HP, full HP, I'm like, mm, I mean, they will all lean you, but you have the wave, they will chunk you a bit, but let's crash the wave and it's okay. fine. So if this is a pro player, what he does, he's like, hmm, I wanna crash the wave, it's ideal, you know, I could get gain because I don't have vision, but I have enough HP to greed a bit. It's not really a greed because it's a risk, but it's not a huge risk because I'm not doing it with mm -hmm. low HP. So what the yeah. pro player will do, will very fast go for a fast word in the brush so he can make sure he doesn't die huh. now. And then he will try to use everything on the wave as fast as humanly possible, crush and then recall. So would he try to go place that ward as that cannon wave is crashing or as soon as the second like reinforcement wave comes? You know what I'm talking about? Like if, if it's like right here in this in this position? 
the way no no before like when i should have done the right thing yes so if 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 you're doing the right thing like a pro player yeah, would just yeah. stack two waves and crash no word nothing but okay okay if, okay if if you play it and then you give the, the mouse to a pro player and he's in this specific situation when the wave didn't you crash in your drop award yeah you would go to word to like lower the risk but i'm not saying word the river no word fast now because you. you gotta push now and then I usually you. the deeper the better the deeper the word yeah. the better but you want to crash the hole into the tower so you can get a better word but in this specific gotcha. wave, your purpose the only purpose you have a, let me crash the wave and you go okay in that case let, let me put the word that helps me with that which is this word okay uh, i see okay here oh uh, yeah was a little bit of um <laughs> it was a little bit of a mindset thing like and this is every player that plays competitive has it so you recalled okay they have a freeze and i asked you hey how is the wave and you said it's frozen personally i didn't like that you're not looking at the wave at your wave and you're looking at me they're looking at, at my oh, this is there. This is usually because of the competitive that you want to see how the, the other people are doing. In competitive is good, in solo queue it's better to look at your wave. Because you can say that, oh but I knew that Zai is freezing. Yeah, but if she's pushing like a bad player, which could always happen, like not freezing uh -huh. and just crushing, then you need to take that information. So I would say that looking both first is more important and then you can look top and mid if you still have time. Okay. But if you're only looking mid and top and you're not really knowing <coughs> what's going on on your lane, that can be a problem. Gotcha. Okay. Because I think this is actually happened. Let's see. Because see, I, I don't know what's happening on both wave. Let's see. Let's see, I'm looking there. Okay. And then you're like, oh shit, my wave is bad. And I also don't like the camera. Look at the camera right now. We don't take any information now. You need to look yeah. at the wave to see what's going on. You see, you're looking okay. top lane. Okay. And here you're like, oh, she's freezing. I need to crush. True. True. Uh -huh. What is a freeze? So a freeze is when we're exact, or like the wave is exactly plus three. Plus three? Like on her side. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So like three casters. Is it the ideal freeze? Three? Um, yes, I think so. Okay. So usually with three, you can't refreeze that well. There are many situations when you can. But ideally, huh. you would like to have four. So now gotcha. they had four more minions for sure. The problem is that she does something very, very bad. Look at this, what she does. Boom. Three minions. She so two, what yeah. do you think is going to happen right now if she only has three minions? It'll slow push back to us. So what is the worst thing that you can do right now? Step up and trade HP. Exactly. Or with the wave, what do you should, like the worst thing that you can do? Auto it. Exactly, because it's coming into you. If they had four minions, I would be like, push man, push, it's frozen. But in this yeah. case, with three minions, she can't really push it. Uh, she can't really freeze it, because the, way the cannon it. comes here, the minions are gonna hit. So here, <clears throat> you try to ping her. I mean, I appreciate that you're pinging your support, but it wasn't the current mindset here. It's not the right one. Okay. Exactly, exactly. And before we go to another game, so we can analyze it, we can look at the next thing. 15-0-0. Very, very important. <coughs> so right here, after you lost the tower, you wanted to stay in the... You, you said, hey, I'm gonna stay here because I'm very unsafe. And uh, I'm just gonna sit here and chill, right? Mm -hmm. Which can be considered a good mindset. The problem is that if you do that, what is the Zaya and Rakan gonna do? Uh, go mid and push. Okay, so... Your team is gonna have number disadvantage. They can contest Herald, they can play for mid yep. tower, they can take mid tower, then they can go top, they can take top tower. And you're staying here and you're freezing. Or, I mean, you can say, okay, but the, if I do the map, they're gonna lose two waves and a half. Thing is, compared to what they get on the map, uh -huh. it's huge disadvantage. So if gotcha. you would have a freeze here, let's say, it's still, I would say that for low elo, it's still bad that you're staying here for a long time. Because okay. your teammates are definitely gonna fight, and they're gonna yeah. handicap the teammates so much more that then you can try to, you know, get here by yeah. freezing some waves. Okay, if it's challenger and you have wave clear mid lane and you're freezing here, I would say yes, bro. You have wave clear mid. Tell them to play safe. It's challenger. They will play around your freeze. It's good. Yeah. But it's not challenger, and it's not comps. Yeah. Because even in challenger, if it's solo queue, it will never work almost. So. 
But I would personally do hard push no matter what. After the, the tower is gone, I will always hard push. Why? It's because if you hard push, yeah, you're yeah. gonna put the wave into the tower, you'll create pressure, which means Zaya is gonna go there, and at least she's yeah. not in the fight. So gotcha. this is what we should have done. Plus, if you're thinking about, okay, but what about Evelyn? Well, the more time you stay here, the more time Evelyn has to kill you. So has if you get push there. it instantly, yeah. okay, she can have 5 seconds to kill you. Yeah, but it's not 15 seconds or 50. It's 5. Because you're gotcha. like chilling, you're like, okay, let me last hit, let me... Okay, but we stayed so much. Like we should have instantly shoved it. Yeah. Okay. This is macro decision. So I'll prepare you like a plan so you can how can you can improve these things. Definitely I know what we have. So I want one more game from today. Do you sure. think we should do live or should we analyze a game that you have played maybe? What do you think is better for you? Um Maybe do a live one just because one. maybe because I was like nervous. <laughs> but no problem. Um no problem. Would you let me see if I was gonna say maybe you could do one of the ones from our competitive. Oh, if you wanted to. Okay, okay, okay. But I don't think I can get access. Well, you could send me the grip replay, or we can just play a live game. Which one do you think is better for you? Usually the competitive games are a bit different because you have a support. That yeah. You, you have a jungle that helps you, so it's a bit easier. That is that is very true. So what um, do you think is better, like a voted yeah, from maybe, this game? Maybe or I'll just, just do live? another live. You just want me to do another live one? Yeah, sure, 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 sure. In the meantime, I'll watch another game on, on, on Jinx. <laughs> Not gonna sure. waste any time. Okay, let's see. So this one, it does a trash. Oh, it does a Tristano, I see. Try not. Thank you for the sound, man. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, seven months, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate and hopefully it. Hopefully my ping stays where it's at this time. How much is it, 29? It, typically, yeah, it's right around like 30. I see, I see, I see. So. Okay. Good, 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 good. So. <clears throat> okay. In the meantime, I'll just watch. Okay. So you use A click when you click, right? Yeah, so. You don't miss my settings. Because you cancel Dang. somebody, don't miss from what I saw. So typically, see, that's why. Okay, I mean, yeah, so this is typically how my settings are. At least for movement. Let me take a look at this. So, Shift and B, A. Ah, I see, I see. So when you press A, it clicks you? Like yeah, so my. Attacks? Yeah, I yeah. See, I see, I see, I see. That's fine, that's completely fine. And then I have the Shift A just because since I have Shift MB in case I'm hitting Shift and then I press A and Shift is still pressed down, uh, I don't want it to not do anything. So I see, I see, it's I see, like I see. a backup. 